guys, welcome to our channel again. Uh, today we are gonna uh, cook an easy dish, which is this tecava mexicana. But to me, right now, the most important thing is gonna be the drink that he's gonna make. He's gonna uh, prepare a traditional mask meal but with a little twist of his own way. So, what is the drink? So, it's a mask meal. Normally, you need ginger beer to. Uh, make a masca mule, but um, I didn't have ginger beer and I really didn't feel like going to the store So what I did is to make um, simple syrup uh, With ginger in it. I steep um, The ginger in it. Uh, it's uh, one cup of sugar One cup of water once it comes into a boil Throw a bunch of ginger in there peel it first and then slice it and throw it in there and just let it steep and as a matter of fact, I never got it out because I want it to be very gingery. I want the spice of the ginger to be very concentrated into the syrup. Um, you can use the vodka of your choice. Today, we are being sponsored by Stoli. We're not being sponsored, but that's what we're using. So, we'll so Stoli, doing... sponsor us, please. No. Okay, so we're gonna start doing that. I'm gonna go behind the camera and let's do okay, it. Okay, so... I have my two um, mixed glasses or high bowlers, however you know them as. We're gonna fill them up with ice and we're gonna put a ounce and a half of vodka in there. Um, I don't measure it, but if you wanna make sure it's an ounce and a half, just get a shot glass. I got an ounce and a half on each glass. And then we're gonna do a half ounce ginger uh, simple syrup. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna grab sparkling water. Uh, you can use Pellegrino, you can use soda water, whichever your preference is. Perrier. We're gonna top that with soda water. We're gonna give it just a little mix. And now we're gonna hotter line into wedges, and then we're gonna squeeze one line in there. Another bunch of line. Give it another stir. And it's ready to drain. Okay. And if you're thinking it's more yes. ginger, please, by all means, put more ginger syrup in it. I think it's perfect. It's, it's delicious. You can taste the spiciness of the ginger. It's not too sweet. Um, it is awesome. So it's better than the ginger It's better beer. than the ginger beer. So um, and this is so easy to make and it's cheaper than uh, buying it at the store. We're gonna move to our ingredients for that steak a la mexicana. I got a pound of uh, bottom round steak, uh, thinly sliced. You can ask your butcher to cut it real thin. I have a very large tomato, which is about two plum tomatoes, one medium white onion, three serrano peppers, and two garlic cloves. I'm gonna need some salt. I'm gonna need about two tablespoons of um, olive oil. And I have a pan hidden up right here. I'm gonna put the two tablespoons of olive oil. And what I'm gonna do right now is Take my steak. And I'm just gonna cut it into like strips. Almost like if you were making fajitas. You can, if it tastes good for you, you can put it on a roll and cut it like that so you can grab onto it and it's not wiggling all over the place. And what we normally serve with this is Mexican rice or beans. 
Today I'm cooking beans. Let me show you. Um, I cook my own beans. I don't like to buy cans of beans unless I'm feeling lazy. What I did is I put 16 ounces of pinto beans, um, which is a pound. I wash them really good. I don't soak my beans like most people do. And, uh, and then I put 32 ounces of water in the pot. And I bring it up to a boil. When it's boiling, I put it all the way on low, throw two uh, teaspoons of salt and cover it. And in three hours, you have perfectly cooked beans and you don't have to mess with them. You don't have to worry. Three hours, check them. If it's uh, tender enough, turn it off and they're ready to eat. Do you add garlic or onion to your beans? You could add garlic and um, onion to season them up. I honestly, with this kind of dish, I don't like to do it because you're already getting a ton of flavor with this. But, you know, and I like beans. I like to taste the beans. I, I don't want to taste more garlic or, you know what I mean? I love beans and I can eat beans every day. Quick, because I was handling it. And I'm gonna put some salt. And the salt is to your liking, you know? Obviously, you don't want it to be salty. Mix a little bit, make sure all this thickness you got a little bit of salt. And then we're gonna cover it and we're gonna cut our tomato and onion and the rest of the stuff. Cheers. Salud. So I already washed my board and my knife. It's very important that if you can eat any kind of meat and you're gonna cut something else on the same board and you're gonna use the same knife, please wash it, cross contamination, it's real. So you gotta make sure you sanitize everything and wash it with hot water and soap. Um, my tomato, I'm not gonna dice it today. What I'm gonna do is cut it in half and then I'm gonna get this little guy out. And then I'm gonna make wedges out of the tomato. Then my onion, I'm not gonna dice it either, so I'm gonna cut the ends, fill the outer layer. And then I'm gonna slice it sideways. We're gonna make that like moons. So I got my onion sliced, I'm gonna put it with the tomato. I already washed my peppers. I'm only doing three peppers. These peppers come out really spicy. Um, if you don't like spicy food, you can do less or you can do more. Now with this, we're gonna just slice across the pepper. And then we're just gonna dice our garlic. All right, my garlic is minced. I'm gonna put it right here. It's kind of like medium right now, and that's what we want. We don't wanna, uh, we're gonna cook it all the way, because it's not a thick steak or a steak cut, you know? But we don't wanna dry those juices from the meat. We want those juices, because that's gonna flavor our meat. And then when you put those in there, this is gonna 
release their own juices and it's just gonna, the sauce is gonna be awesome. It's making its own sauce. So we throw that in there. We're gonna season it with salt again. Just a little pinch of salt. We're gonna mix it a little bit. And then we're gonna cover it and put it on a medium uh, fire. And we're just gonna let the fire or the heat do its job. It's gonna break the, down those tomatoes and the onion and everything's gonna combine it and it's gonna become a really good sauce. Um, we'll check it in about 10 minutes, see how it's doing. What do you think about the drink? It's good, right? Anyway, so what do you think about this new adventure that we've taken um, making videos on YouTube? Well, I am very excited because we always wanted to do this for years and years. Uh, we never got to it because it was either work or we start doing other things. Um, we wanted to do it uh, years back because now we are roommates. We weren't roommates before. And we wanted to do it back then. But now I think it's uh, it was basically not forced, but it was just I think it was the right time to start because we have plenty of time to do it. Especially right now that we're not working because of COVID-19, um, and that's basically why we started doing it. We've been talking about it for years. We created the page maybe six years ago, but we just never got to it. I have normally two jobs. Um, so time was definitely a problem. We couldn't squeeze it in, but it was it was hard, especially when you work two jobs, you know. And then this happened, and we're like, "Well, fuck! What are we gonna do? You know, we need to do something because we cannot leave the house. It's it, you gotta entertain yourself." And so we started, you know, doing this, and hopefully you guys enjoy it and. You know, give us support. I would, I would like for this to go further. I, I'm doing this because I enjoy cooking. I love to cook. I love to entertain. And it makes me happy to see when people like my food. I get joy out of it. And hopefully you guys enjoy my recipes. And, you know, um, we're going to do this. And we're going to continue to do this if you guys allow us to do it. Um, and I enjoy doing the editing and putting it up there. I try to manage everything and I always say it. I would like to have a feedback because it takes a little bit of time. It's more time than anything putting it together. It takes time and it takes money. And I, honestly, I'm not, it's almost like a sacrifice, especially right now that we're not working, you know. We just have to buy the food, which is okay. I mean, we're eating the food, it's not going to waste. But, you know, um, I don't even know if I should be talking about this, but you know, right now money is tight. And so, you know, we're doing our best to entertain you guys and to keep us entertained. And hopefully we'll get more views and more support and you guys, you know, take us to the next level. I would love to see that. And oh my God, if I could have you guys over my house and sit down at my dinner table. That would mean the world to me because I enjoy um, entertaining people in my kitchen. And maybe so, we have some people over once this is a little bit better. We'll have some people over so you can see how uh, people enjoy his food and how we entertain our guests. So, thank you for listening. I didn't mean to like tell you my life story and I hope you don't take it the wrong way. Um, but you know, I want you to get us to know a lot of better, not just like, oh, they're cooking. You know, we want to be a familiar face to you, something that you can relate, someone that you can relate to. You know what I mean? This is not a fancy cooking show. We're not cooking million dollar fucking dinners. It's just simple, homemade cooking. And 
that's it, you know, and, you know, take us to the next level. Help us out. Maybe the next time we'll have a, in a year, we'll have a second camera so we can have better, better taste. Maybe in a year we have a bigger kitchen right now. Because it's a tiny kitchen. So it's like bouncing between walls. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, and we're going to continue with this this take a la mexicana and we'll show you the end of the product in a minute cheers cheers salud yeah as you can see our tomatoes are breaking down already you can see the onions you see this beautiful sauce you can smell the garlic and we're just gonna let it simmer for a few more minutes. We want this to, it's not a stew, but you know, almost like a stew-like sauce. We want the tomatoes to be broke, more broken down. We're just gonna cover it and let it go for five, maybe 10 more minutes. Okay, so we're gonna check on our Visteca La Mexicana. It smells delicious. Our tomatoes are pretty much broken down. And see our sauce, it's, it's got a thickness to it. It's because of the tomato. All that pulp broke down and it thickened our sauce without putting any type of starch or anything. And this is done. Um, later on, I'm gonna show you how to serve it because we're not ready to eat just yet. We're gonna have a couple more masca mules. And then we're gonna serve dinner. FYI, you need tortillas to eat this. You cannot eat Mexican food without tortillas. All right, it's dinner time. So, remember I told you about my tortillas? I got my um, comal going, or your griddle, whatever you have at home. I'm gonna put my tortillas, and I'm gonna grab a bowl. If some of those freshly cooked things smell how pretty they are. And then I'm gonna put some of this steak right on top and try to scoop some of that sauce to put it there. I mean, you can serve as much as you want. There you go, Abby. That's good. Mm. I just love the beans, how they taste. I'm gonna taste with the beans first. Mmm, amazing. The spice with the meat with the beans just brings it all together. We have to try it. Mm, so good. Now we're gonna eat it with tortillas. I'm gonna make it even better. Bye guys, thank you. Hope you like this um, dish. Try to make it at home, let me know how it turned out. And we'll see you next time in the next episode. Thank you for joining us.